millions of women are using online dating sites to find or look or come up with Mr. Right. Well, there's a new website that adds a twist on online matchmaking. It is called MissTravel.com. It pairs beautiful women and rich men as travel companions. Yeah, it's just like it sounds. The tagline is, who needs money, beautiful people, travel free? You know, would you, I would just ask you, would you want your daughter meeting wealthy, possibly older men online on this site and then just taking off with them? Joining me is MissTravel.com CEO Brandon Wade. Brandon, why did you start this website? Well, I started this website because I had uh, two passions. I, I love to travel, and I believe, uh, and I, I'm, a, I'm a romantic at heart, and I believe that when you travel, you can really start falling in love. So why not pair the two together and allow people who love to travel to meet on a website and fall in love? Now, Brandon, I didn't realize it was you and I together again. I, I'd forgotten that you and I have worked <laughs> together in the past. And the last time we worked together, I introduced you to some of the women that were using the site, and they were trauma survivors, they were sex addicts, they were impaired. What, what about that? Did that wake you up at all? Well, it did. I think we're taking a much tougher stance on all our websites to really weed out the, uh, the unwanted characters. I think, obviously, you know, on, t on television show, we tend to look for members who have issues, but the majority of the members who use our websites actually don't have issues. They are women who have high self-confidence. Over 80% of the women who use the website are educated or, or seeking or have a college degree. Um, so it's certainly not um, what it seems. And let me, let me add, why don't you tell them why you set this website up? I thought it was kind of interesting. Well, a lot of different reasons. I, I think one of the main reasons is there's a lot of wealthy guys who are business travelers and, you know, and as well as women who travel alone. Uh, it can be very dangerous to travel overseas. As you know, you go to a bar or a nightclub and you could be propositioned by unwanted elements that could be illegal overseas. Why not meet Brandon. beautiful Brandon. men and women? Brandon, Brandon, yes. that's not what you told me. You said you were an MIT graduate, you were a smart guy, you'd made a bunch of money, and you couldn't meet pretty girls. You wanted <laughs> other guys like you to meet pretty girls. That's what you told me. Is that the case? That's absolutely right, too. That's absolutely right, right, too. Fair In enough. fact, um, well, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't get a girlfriend until I was 21. I didn't have my first kiss till I was 21. And one of the things I learned from my mother when I was growing up is that if you're willing to be generous, you know, the world opens up to you when it comes to dating. And hence, all my dating websites have that similar theme. If you're willing to be generous, you have an amazing racial on missed travel. For every one generous guy, there's about three women vying for his attention. Okay, we've got calls for you, Brandon. Joelle in Texas, what do you want to ask? Hi, Dr. Drew. Thanks Hi. for taking my call. Our I've pleasure. got two quick questions for you. Yeah. Number one, do both of them take a background check? I'm a single, divorced woman, middle-aged, and I'd like to know for safety reasons if they get a thorough background check and the other question is what do you think of it dr drew uh, if it's a good idea or not you know joel before i miss get mr wade to answer the issue of the background check i have treated a lot of people that have been involved in these kind this kind of world and it's it's not it's not cool it, the, the women that are involved in it may look good on paper but when you actually have some expertise and evaluate what's going on it's a problem there are some very serious problems with every woman I've dealt with that get into these kinds of situations. But let's go ahead and ask uh, uh, Mr. Wade what the deal is with the background checks. Is there background checks on all these guys and, and all those women for that matter? Well, actually, there's no background checks done right now, but we will be implementing a background check feature over the next month so that that will be an option that's available on the website. It, does, is it, who's paying the money to be on the site? Well, actually, the attractive users use the website for free, just like any of my websites. It's the generous users, uh, who can be men or women, they sign up, they ultimately pay us to communicate with the attractive users. The, the, these euphemisms are making me laugh. The, the attractive user and the what, was the, what was the term for the guys that pay up? Generous. The generous, generous users, the, the generous the men. Wow. Veronica in Texas, what's up? Hey, Dr. Drew, I have a statement that leads to a question. Uh, my statement is, Bra is for Brandon, actually. I find uh, your website to be a predatorial one, just giving uh, free vacations to uh, escorts, which leads me to the following question, Dr. Drew. Uh, statistically speaking, um, how long before we find one of these people dead or missing? Well, I think we've already heard cases of situations like this, haven't you? You didn't specifically involve a website of hooking them up, but there is a whole world out there where this kind of thing happens without the Internet. And yeah, there was something happened down in Aruba, wasn't there? Veronica, let me ask you something. You, you see this as escorting. Is, have you ever been involved in something like that? 
Oh, no, sir, and I would definitely not want to see my daughter even closely, remotely involved in something like this. And yet you, you see it as that. You're pretty clear that that's what we're dealing with here. Um, yeah, I, I would, escort was actually a nicer word I used for what I was seeing here. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Well, let's so. see what Mr. Wade has to say about it. Brandon, what do you say about that? How long well, before I think that's, that's correct. Well, you know, uh, Dr. Drew, that's that's an unfair question because when you cross the road, you know, people people die as well. And and when you fly on the planes, you know, people die as well. And when you fall in love, some people get really hurt and they kill themselves. So life in general is just a very dangerous thing. Um, but to mention that uh, the website would be a dangerous place for people to meet, that's, that's just taking it way out of bounds. I think the website makes traveling safer because we point out the fact that you need to use your common sense. We teach people how to travel safely. By making it an issue, we're actually educating people on how to travel safely and hence making it a possibly a safer thing to do. Darla in Texas. Go right ahead, Darla. Well, um, I kind of agree with the site itself. I mean, at a certain age, you become an adult, and you should be able to make those adult decisions. Right. And you shouldn't have to look over your shoulder to make sure that what you do is approved by everyone else. And um, would then you I do started it? listening to the background. Darla, Darla, hold on. Would you do it? Actually, I wouldn't now because I'm married and been married for six years. Well, before, when you were single and running around, would you? Actually, I might have tried it just to see what it was like. But now that I've heard that there's no background checks run right now, it really turns me the other direction. Well, I'm assuming you're, you're like you said, you're an adult. You can do the background check. I, I, exactly. I, and that, that also falls into play as being an adult. You should be allowed to do that yourself. All right, Jeanette, thank you for your call, Darla. Jeanette in New York, what do you got for me? Hey, Dr. Jeanette. Uh, you know, I... Okay, so assume that these guys are not Gary Giordano's. Okay, assuming that, okay. yeah, all right. How, how do you... How well, do by you the way, Jeanette, by the way, he's not been convicted of anything, right? They may actually be him. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you, yeah. You're saying that they aren't the... my sister. You're Come saying on. they aren't the guy we thought he might be. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, how right. do you know that you're sitting across at dinner after gawking at this beautiful girl that, that they're going to actually have a good conversation? Well, or, right, so how do you know what you're getting into? Yeah. seven days paid vacation, you know, how do you know you're even going to enjoy it? That's right. Well, so what is this? How does this work, Mr. Wade? Brandon Wade, how does that work? You're the CEO of, the, of this website. Well, I, I'm still confused. There's the generous guy and the, and the free, attractive <laughs> user. How, what, how do these people but, know they're... I, it's confusing. Well, it, it's kind of confusing, but it, it sort of points to the question you were asking initially when, when the show first started. You said, would you let your college-aged daughter go and fly somewhere with an older guy? Um, the answer is obviously not. But if you ask the question in two steps, the answer might be yes. The first question would be, would you let your college-aged daughter date a wealthy, respectful, and successful guy? Hell, why not? And what if this guy decides to take her to Fiji during the summer for a vacation. Why not? So the point of the website is to match people who love to travel so that they get to know each other. And if there's romance, and if they know each other well, at that point, if they choose to travel overseas and kindle their romance or make it, take it to the next level, it's not such a bad thing. When you ask the question the right way, the answer is usually a yes. All right, let me quickly bring in a former prosecutor, Wendy Murphy. Now, Wendy, you're concerned about this site, right? Oh, yeah, I have a lot of concerns about it, absolutely. Um, I don't know where to begin. Uh, you know, I, I have to say, I, I think the concept of online dating, even when it's not as explicitly about prostitution as this site appears to be, is, you know, is rife with potential dangers and problems. And why are we not dating? I think there's a huge problem in society today that, that kids who go to college they don't date, they hook up and they, they dehumanize each other and they value each other for all the wrong reasons. Oh, she's cute, she has big boobs, he's wealthy. It's just disgusting. But it is what it is. We live in a, a, a terrible society as this issue goes and he's exploiting it. And I do think it's hard to draw a line between, you know, I, I think I'll try to date this guy and I'm attracted to him because he's wealthy and I'd like to date this woman because she's beautiful. We do that to each other. We objectify each other all the time. This man is exploiting it. And the difference is this, and it's not an easy line to draw. The difference is this. He's all but conceding that this is prostitution and that we should somehow be celebrating and, and pushing the envelope and enjoying the fact that people purchase each other like bags of potato chips. 
And it dehumanizes women disproportionately compared to men because of the way the sex industry works. We have to pay attention to the fact that the average entry age in prostitution, and that's and, and by the way, legitimizing this business does uh, you know open up all females, including girls, to sex trafficking. The average entry age is 13. And if you look at countries where prostitution has been legal for a long time, Nick Kristoff from the New York Times wrote a book called Half the Sky. He cites to research that, that the vast majority of women in the business in those countries where this has been legal for a long time say, don't do it to countries like ours where we've continued to resist. Don't do it. It destroys women's lives. Wendy, thank you so much for that, for that comment. I'm going to give Mr. Wade a chance to respond to that after the break. And when I get back, I'm also going to speak to a man who knows firsthand the horrors of online dating. His girlfriend went on a trip with a generous guy she met online and disappeared for good. Don't go away. Before the break, a former prosecutor made some strong comments. And uh, Brandon Wade, the CEO of this website, I wanted to give you a chance to respond to it. Uh, go ahead, Brandon. Well, if Wendy was saying about talking about prostitution, if this was prostitution, I would agree with her, but this is not. Mistravel.com is very different. We don't mention money being exchanged, and sex is not even mentioned on the website. So how could this be prostitution? Okay, Brandon, well, thank you very much. Now I want to bring in a guest who experienced firsthand, as I said before the break, firsthand the tragedy that can happen from these sorts of... Um, Alliances. Remember the story of a beautiful girl who met a guy online on a dating website? She went on a trip to the Caribbean. There she is. She went to Aruba. What happened there is still a mystery, but uh, only one person came back. Watch this tape. He and Robin Gardner were snorkeling late in the afternoon. And then at one point they became separated. He came ashore, and she apparently did not. They know each other for a couple of years already. Oh. And um, as, as, as friends, uh, they, they met each other, I think, on the dating side. But... Apparently, this guy would go online, get to know women in their late 40s who were in good shape, uh, attractive women. After he would meet them online, they would meet in person a couple of times. And Robin Gardner has never been found. And for the record, as I said before, Gary Giordano was not convicted of a crime. But it's a reminder that there's a whole world out there. And I, I've been exposed to it through some of the patients that get involved with it of the women that are taken advantage of, frankly, by wealthy men and objectified and get sort of sucked into this alternative universe almost. It, it's quite a place. And I think this was evidence of that. I think Mr. Wade's website is evidence of that. And I want to speak now via phone. I believe you're Skype, actually, is Robin Gardner's boyfriend. At the, no, it's by phone. Uh, at the time, Richard Forrester. Richard, what do you think of these dating websites like mistravel.com? Hi, Dr. Drew. Um, well, obviously, because of my situation, I'm pretty passionate about this, and I've done a little research and looked into this website. Um, and, you know, to me, I see generous members, and I see attractive members, and, you know, to me, it looks like, you know, he's found a loophole and has somehow become some sort of a pimp. Um, you, you don't know who you're dealing with. You have, you've implemented this website, but yet you still haven't had any sort of background check. Is the background check going to be credit, criminal? I mean, what, what, what's the background check going to consist of, and who's going to do the background check? Um, and, Richard, beyond, let, me, let me ask also, did, have you said you've done some research? Have you, have you sort of looked in the belly of the beast? Have you seen this world I'm talking about where these wealthy guys sort of find these young women and put them on salaries and goofy kinds of quasi relationships develop you know what i'm talking about i've been engulfed in it well what yeah, is that world i've past, just i've always sort past, of been exposed past, to it for the past nine months it's you know it's become a, a huge part of my life um you know just with all the unanswered questions that are out there um, well, richard so richard I, is I, this is that what happened to your girlfriend did she get sucked into that world is that where she was i mean we, you didn't seem to know it last time i talked to you is that what had happened to her no I don't think that's where it was. I think she had a lot of, you know, things going on in her life and had a lot of unanswered questions. I don't think she was, and, you know, as mentioned, she knew Gary for some time. And, no, he hasn't been convicted of anything. And, uh, you know, if he's, if he's innocent, he's innocent. If he's guilty, then hopefully justice will prevail and some, some answers will come of it. Um, but as far as, right. website, as far as this website goes, I've looked at it, and you, you can't get very far into it without having to yeah. sign up. And I'm certainly not going to sign up into it. But it's, it's promoting, you say, 
you're teaching people how to travel safely. Well, how are you teaching people how to travel safely? Um, how, how do you do that? You know, people are adults. They can make their own decisions. But from what I saw, all you have to do is be 18 years old, and you can sign up. Yeah. Anybody can sign up. Yeah, Richard, thank you for joining us. I, I got to tell you, my kids travel a bit to school, and I teach them to travel safely. It does not include signing up to a website like this. I'm just saying. Uh, Angelina, I guess we have another caller who had used the website. Is that right? You're going to use it? What's the deal? Hi, I'm Angelina. Yes, uh, Dr. Drew, I do use the website. Um, actually, I work in the travel industry myself, and uh, there was actually a lot of buzz about this Miss Travel website. So me being the curious blogger I am, I, of course, I have to sign up and see what it's all about. Um, I'm 25. I'm and, single, and tell us so. about it. And so what happened? Well, how uh, you used it? There's yeah, a picture of your profile. So what happened? I really happened? haven't gotten any trips or anything, but um, I signed up. I just made a generic profile, put a picture of me on an airplane. There's nothing suggestive at all. I don't. You know, I'm not looking for any kind of weird uh, salary kind of based relationship with somebody. I'm a working professional myself. But um, I was actually amazed. Within a week of me being on the site, I did receive about 10 messages and 10 trip proposals. I, now, I haven't gone on anything, like I said before, but there's somebody my age who lives about six hours away in Virginia, and um, we've actually started talking through text messages and Facebook now, and we're actually going to All right, so it's sort of coffee. online dating, maybe not so much prostitution. I still have grave concerns about it. Thank you for joining us. And now coming up, I've got Mary Lou Henner.